uh, I would say to any of the widows, uh, and of course that will depend on the stage of recovery that they're in, they need to think of their own health. Uh, part of that healing is your one year anniversary uh, where you're celebrating uh, the spouse's valor. But their health, they will go through a myriad of, of health things. Uh, uh, actually, physiologically, their immune system decreases. Uh, anxiety, depression hits every part of your body. And these are normal things that they should wait, work through, be able to work through with proper support. And again, we get to the main line is going to be the local department. So if they can take advantage of all of you all's uh, resources and other people's resources, uh, there's now a setup where they have good financial things, which the department should have access uh, to obtain to take those pressures off of them. Uh, but they also ought to be able to know uh, either psychiatrists, psychologists that have a soft, compassionate heart to line these people up uh, and let them know that they're, they're not going to a shrink. <laughs> this is what everybody has or needs to go through uh, when they have a trauma such as this. And uh, I, I can't emphasize enough, I think, that the departments need to do this. Uh, and probably in a town the size of Brownwood, through the chaplain's office and through the state chaplain's uh, organization and the federal chaplain's organization be the best way to do this. And uh, where there needs to be support for these, uh, you know, I think they would have access to that they might can help uh, arrange that but it's imperative that these compassionate people get to them and they need to realize they're going to have some physical complaints. So it's better you have to, even though it hurts, there are certain things you have to go through, uh, but they need a support system. They need their little circle support system, but understand how lay they are and they're just trying to please the person and they're not saying what the person needs to hear and most of them especially if they're men. I hate to say men, men fall in this thing, you give me a problem, I want to try to solve it for you. So let me start talking to you about what you ought to do. <laughs> but uh, women are a little better at listening, but close friends don't listen that much. And what they need is somebody to let them, and how they minister to them, they should take the lead from what that person is saying to them. But always, 98% uh, listening, 2% input.